Good day everyone and welcome to Excel News, the weekly show that brings you all the important news and information on Path of Excel. And the first news this week has been the reveal of the release of the first Path of Excel gamebook, which is a choose your own path type gamebook. And uh, well, if you never played one of these type of books, because probably you are too young, it works uh, pretty much as a game mixed with a book. So you have to have a couple dice, a pen, paper to write on and you have a character that has attributes, life, as you can see you can have items, weapons, all the kind of stuff, there's even uh, an ascendancy page here and then you play the book and uh, at certain points you will be prompted to make choices and the choices will determine the narrative you will follow and it's, it's just amazing, it's also a throwback to those who played this type of books which were pretty popular like 20 years ago I think, even more, so they're kind of dead, uh, I mean I don't know if they're dead right now but definitely not as high as they were before and uh, it's pretty cool, you are Waylin of Hezlemir who's uh, actually the guy that uh, leaves a lot of writings and uh, that you find the body at the end of the actual labyrinth in the game so it's pretty cool, if you like the lore it's definitely really interesting uh, hopefully you'll get to actually win with this arrow at the end and not just die there every time but who knows the sad part is that it's gonna be available in high tiers of the coming new core supporter packs later this year, meaning uh, when the 3.9 expansion launches in December and well, that's where you can get it maybe later on uh, as well, probably not, who knows uh, maybe in another supporter pack, this is the cover book uh, it's definitely really cool and probably worth taking, especially if you are already going to purchase uh, one of the core packs anyway. Definitely really cool stuff. And then we got the fan art competition winners. Uh, really, really cool stuff here as well with the Owl, the Delve, the Delve King or the Crystal King, uh, which, whichever you prefer. There's a Mare Veil, really nice artwork here. I really like this style personally. And Enough Roots by Joe Duncan, if you haven't had enough of him, he's in here as well. There's the fourth and fifth place uh, with a set, kind of 3D, but it's still an image. And a really cool uh, 3D implementation of a first person fight with a theory. Uh, looking really nice, kind of getting the vibes there. But yeah, these are uh, the winners. There's also 6th to 10th place up to the 20s, even runners up, so definitely check all the artworks out, uh, maybe you actually want something if you participated, it's definitely a lot of really 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 cool stuff in here and uh, I'm glad GGG continue to do these kind of challenges, it's really free microtransactions for the people who put more effort into the game and create great stuff for the game, so it's definitely a win-win situation and uh, the audience gets to get a lot of really great artwork which you can use for whatever they want uh, desktop wallpaper is the first guess I, I'm gonna put there but yeah I mean this is a really quick week because GGG only released these two news uh, that are not microtransactions related even though the first one is also microtransaction related thankfully Diablo actually comes in our help and at the BlizzCon Diablo 4 was just announced and this is a pretty big news because what most people hope is that it will be actually a good competitor to Path of Exile and hopefully putting some pepper behind GG so that they get uh, to improve their quality as well and uh, out of this uh, let's say uh, fight between Diablo and Path of Exile uh, the audience gets two great games that try to top each other off so getting better every time even though honestly uh, Path of Exile has been getting better every time even though uh, they were the only ones so they never sat on their ass uh, because they were the only ones so that's pretty good anyway as far as Diablo 4 goes there is a cinematic which is incredibly good, also doesn't matter uh, at all as far as gameplay goes. There's a gameplay trailer which again doesn't matter anything because uh, the game is so far off, even Blizzard said that this game is not coming out soon, not even Blizzard soon, that's what exactly words that they said, so uh, it's probably at least a two years wait from now, which means 4.0 is gonna come before that and Diablo probably should release after the 4.0 hype dies uh, because people are definitely gonna play Diablo 4, uh, that's for sure 
Uh, the only problem is if it's gonna be de in depth enough to keep them uh, hooked for more than a week. Otherwise, it's gonna be just like Diablo 3, where you play a weekend and you're done for the season. But yeah, there's also a very funny answer here where a random guy tells GGG to rev their engine up, and then Chris comes in, it's like, no problem, two weeks, uh, because it's just right now less than two weeks for the opening of Exilecon, which also has the release um, previews for 3.9, and 4.0 and 4.0 is gonna be a huge deal in fact uh, the patch size is so big that apparently Chris said that it created an internal discussion about how the size was that big so that's how big 4.0 update is gonna be and I'm really ready to get myself blown off as they usually do with their huge updates the last one they added six new acts when we expected one so i can't really wait to see what they have in store uh, it's definitely gonna be more groundbreaking than the news we got from uh, diablo right now but still again uh, diablo is so early in the development that really it doesn't matter what they show what they are showing now it matters more what is gonna come in the future but we'll see how that goes Hopefully it's gonna be an Earth competition. Other than that, that was all for this week. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment down below. Also, if you want to remain updated every week, be sure to subscribe to my channel. So that was all. I have been your host, Orzo, and I'll see you guys the next time.